see video number part number two i told you guys i was gonna get to you and do you a video i'm doing it right now okay so part two to understanding your wages as a new driver okay so you guys you've gone to private trucking school and you've gotten your license on your own you financed it you paid for it whatever you've taken loans however you did it taken out of your life savings whatever now you guys actually are at a little bit of a disadvantage but at the same time you have a huge advantage over uh, you know drivers that have to get their license through the trucking company CDL school okay the advantage that you have is you can choose where you go you're not tied to a company for a year or two years whatever to pay back anything okay however the disadvantage is you're still gonna get lower wages and I know that may not sound fair however okay so take into mind now a company is gonna they haven't invested anything in you as far as CDL school, but they're now gonna take a chance on you. Let's say somebody hires you, ABC Trucking says, okay, you know what, I'm gonna take a chance on you. I'm gonna put you with a trainer for four weeks or six weeks, whatever it is. Okay, so you're gonna go with that trainer. The first off, you're gonna go through orientation. Again, now the company's investing in you, in a bit, in a way, because they're gonna pay for a hotel for you to stay in for three, four days, whatever their orientation thing is. They're gonna send you for a drug screen, which most of them pay for, okay? It's not free guys that drug screen is not free okay they pay for that testing um, and I don't know how it is in the US but in Canada they pay for it it's like I think normally 75 bucks or something like that but uh, they pay for it okay so they put you in a hotel you know 50 60 bucks a night for a hotel room plus they're either bringing in food or they give you food vouchers or however they do it but they're paying for your meals also in some cases they even pay to help you know to bring you down to their place wherever their training place is most of the time you know they pay for a bus ticket or whatever for those of you who don't have a car whatever i drove down to kitchener but okay that one is a rarity but so they've, they've invested they're going to invest in you already a few hundred dollars right off the bat we'll say 500 bucks with hotels meals uh plus the orientation class a lot of places pay for orientation. I know Celadon paid, I think it was 75 bucks a day during orientation, which I thought was pretty decent, you know? They're paying for my meals, they're paying for my hotel, uh, and they're giving me 75 bucks a day. I thought that was pretty cool. So, that may be low for some places. I know some places pay more, some places pay less, some places don't even pay for orientation. They say, hey, you come down for orientation, and that's all there's to it. We'll pay for the hotel and the meals, you know? But anyways, okay, they've invested a few hundred dollars in you right there. Now you're new, okay? Yes, you got your license through a, a private school and you paid for it, but you're still new. So they're going to have to put you with a trainer. Again, the trainer gets paid a higher wage. Now, it, it ranges from company to company. Um, I've heard good companies that pay their trainers, what they do is they pay them a higher cents per mile because there is a chance that they're not going to get in as many miles a week as the average driver, number one. Plus, they pay them a weekly guarantee, like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, 300 bucks guarantee. You're going to get that every week that you're doing your training, okay? Um, so, I think the guys, the trainers get paid a little bit more. Um, so, there's an extra expense there, okay? But the company is going to pay that extra expense in the hopes that you're gonna stay with them. See, now this is where they're taking their chance on you because you don't have to sign a contract. You don't have to sign anything that says you're gonna stay with them a year or you have to pay them back. And I forgot to mention that in the other video and I hope you guys from the other video are watching this video um, so that you hear that part. Um, because a lot of times if you don't complete the contract, they have the right to go after you to have you pay back you know, for the remainder of what's only for the schooling. Um, so you guys have already gotten your license elsewhere through your own schooling. You know, you don't have that obligation. So this is another reason why they're gonna pay you a little bit less. Now they may not pay you as less or as little as they do someone that they put through their own CDL school or a company that has their own CDL school. But they're still gonna pay you a few cents less for the first year. Just to see A, to get you know, their investment back, the money that they've already spent out on you, uh, number one. Uh, number two, to see if you're going to, you know, make it. They're not going to give you that uh, top wage incentive 
right off the bat. Now, if you stayed with them a year, most companies uh, will pay you a one-year wage, a much higher wage. You know, there's a significant jump there usually from first-year driver to someone who's got over the year or the one year's experience. I know Swift, from what I've heard, is a significant jump from you know your first year driving as a with a trainer as a trainee etc and then by yourself to uh, after you've had that one year experience um, it's, it's a significant jump I know with Celadon Canada now Celadon US like I said is offering that training program I'm not sure the, the rates I'm trying to find out um, so I can get a better idea um, but you know and so now you're at the advantage you new guys now that I do encourage you stick it out a year okay with this company just really tough it out stick it out that year you get that one year under your belt you, you can pretty much start looking almost anywhere you want I said almost okay um, a lot of companies don't like to see a first-year driver that has worked for you know two three companies that's not a good sign and it's gonna make it very difficult for you to get hired okay um, but you've got that year in, you stuck that year out with the company, you've got that one year's experience. So for just for example, you say, hey, you know what, Celadon offers a really good, uh, you know, what I think is really good for uh, after one, but you have to have minimum year's experience here in Canada. Um, they will accept less than a year with a reputable driving, truck driving school, uh, but you know, not that much less. So, but anyway. any rate, um, so you get that year in and then you start at the one year wages. Now sell it on Canada starts the drivers off if you've got one year at 39 cents. You know what, that's a pretty decent wage. It's not horrible, it's pretty decent. Um, I'd say it's uh, right around the average, right in the middle of the pack. Uh, I know some dry companies start much less than that. I've heard, you know, 34, 35, 36 cents, 37 cents. So 39 is not that bad actually. I, some companies start at 40, 41. It varies. It's it's a huge variance throughout the industry. A lot of it has to do with where you're going to be running. Uh, companies that run the East Coast tend to pay a little bit more, just because nobody wants to go there. Uh, don't blame them either. So, but I'm getting off on a sidetrack here. So guys, that's one of the things you got to understand. Why you're going to get that lower wage your first year? is the company's taking a chance on you you got to prove to them that you're willing to stick it out and that you know you you are what they want or you know you are a good driver etc so get through that first year if things don't improve after the year like if your wage doesn't go up and to a level to where you think it should be now guys you got to be realistic about it too okay uh, don't expect to make it uh, a five-year wage after your first year it's not going to happen okay and that's the downside to the trucking industry. The wages haven't really gone up over the last little while as much as they should have. Um, you know, guys with three and four years experience uh, are pretty much making the same kind of money as a guy with 10 and 20 years experience. So as you can see, it doesn't take that long to get yourself up there, okay? Now the advantage the guys with 10 and 20 years have is they, they'll get the dedicated runs a lot quicker. They'll get the, the more uh, regular runs, the better runs, if you will. Uh, you know, because their companies, their dispatchers say, you know, this guy's got experience. We're going to, this is a really important customer. We're going to put this experienced guy on with this important customers where we don't have to watch them or babysit them as much. Okay? Babysitting is a bad term, but it's the truth. Okay? So, anyway, I hope that helps some of you out. If I've missed anything, eh, I'm sorry. Uh, put it in the comment section below your questions and I will try to answer them like I said I will do an update video a combined update video for both these videos later on that will hopefully answer some of the questions that I may have forgotten to put out there right now and if I can answer them okay so that's it that's all we'll talk to you in the next video